So, my creative friends, welcome to the final day of my Christmas challenge, Olga Art 888. And today we're going to draw this amazing Scandinavian interior. So, first, as you know, uh, if you're following this um, live stream, I love to start uh, with the lightest color in the scene. And in this case, it's this um, beautiful beige color for the walls. So I adore, absolutely adore brush nibs. I actually love to use brush nibs uh, starting from my interior uh, sketches and finishing with my fashion drawings. So I really, really love it. So I just put these vertical strokes. By the way, check the video and it's very popular on my YouTube channel. Uh, the name of the video is How to Train Your Hand. And if you want to create beautiful straight lines, you can train your hand by doing very simple exercises, which I share with you guys in uh, this video. So just check my YouTube Olga Art 888 and you'll find this video like 10 exercises to train your hand. Also, I will put this color here to the floor in the direction of the vanishing point. So here we have a two-point perspective and one point vanishing point is here. And another one, if you imagine that we are uh, prolonging these lines, and uh, they will finally converge somewhere here on the horizon line. And if you are a complete beginner in, in perspective, I would love to welcome you to join my free video course on perspective basics where I cover one and two point perspective. It's available on my website, Olga Art 888. So you're very welcome to join. And yeah, you can do something very very clever and interesting during these Christmas holidays. Uh, so now I'm taking this beautiful sky blue color from Touch. Touch, it's a Korean brand and I actually like this brand. Plus, even though my favorite one, I would say that it is Copic. I really love Copic. But uh, Touch, uh, Touch, uh, Rush Nib, they're really fine. They're really, really good as well. So let's put some color here. Also, I would love to add some cool tint to this table and maybe to the chairs. Just I'll spread it throughout the entire sketch because, you know, it's our background color, so we don't need to be very clear about it. Just put it as a base. Then I switch to slightly darker color in this scene and this one is uh, E31 Brick, brick Beige. I, I, I said it now with a very strong Russian accent, Brick Beige. If you want, I can, I can make this live stream with a really, really strong Russian accent. <laughs> Because, as you know, guys, I'm originally Russian. I'm originally from St. Petersburg, like the most beautiful city <laughs> with the fantastic architecture. And a couple of years ago, my husband and I, we moved to Auckland, New Zealand, because he got a, a permanent uh, position work here. So we decided to move. Move plus the climate here, it is so much <laughs> better in comparison with Russia, because... I always prefer warm climate to like cold Russian winters, uh, especially in St. Petersburg, it's very humid. But I can say that I really miss like the cultural element of St. Petersburg here in Auckland, because uh, especially during this beautiful Christmas uh, time, Christmas holiday season, uh, my family and I, we used to go to the theaters, we used to visit uh, this fantastic Russian ballet at our theaters. And you know that Russian ballet is very, very famous all around the globe. So I really miss it here. I miss our Hermitage Museum. Like We have 
a whole bunch of fantastic, absolutely fantastic museums in Peck and St. Petersburg. So I hope I will be on the holidays there in a couple of months, maybe in April or May. So I will I'll get myself immersed in this uh, cultural culture in the culture and in art. Because here in Auckland they have a very good uh, a very good art gallery, but it's like the only art gallery they have, even though it's very good and you know what I mean. Uh, that was so funny because the other day people told me that I have a very strong American accent and I would never uh, think about it before because I always used to think that I have a like, Russian accent. But here in New Zealand they have different accent. It, they call it like Kiwi accent. So let's put some grey color and Please, you guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate and ask them in the comments below. Uh, and I will, for sure, I will answer them at the very end of this live stream because for now I'm focusing on this drawing uh, because I want to record this video and a little bit later to upload it to my uh, YouTube channel, which is Olga Art888, like the same name as my Instagram. So I don't want it to be like an hour long because nobody watching on YouTube videos which are hour long, you know. So while you're watching, please let me know in the comments where are you from, where are you watching me right now and are you ready for the holiday season and is it your first time that you're watching my live stream or are you like following my Instagram for a while or maybe uh, you are a participant of my Christmas challenge this free like Christmas marathon which is happening right now and today is the last seventh day of this Christmas challenge actually so I'm working with my gray color also I will add some beige here and there I'll darken it a little bit here so we have two light sources which one is located right here and the other one it's like in front of us it's like in front of this table maybe it's another uh, window or something so we have this part it's lit the most so now I want to darken some parts uh, because I want to create this effect of volume. All right. You can mix and match, you can mix different colors. And, uh, it's really an amazing feature that markers provide because you can make layering with them, you can mix colors and you can create new beautiful, new beautiful colors beautiful shades of one color. I really love markers even though when I was studying at the Russian Art Academy I was studying interior design, interior architecture for six years. Uh, we studied uh, sketching and hand rendering uh, in like more classical technique which is watercolor and ink. So I studied these classical techniques and then uh, markers appeared in Russia in 2012 and I remember how I was like interested in this new technique. I felt in love with them like instantly. So oops, you can see that this marker is almost dry and you can't refill style file markers. This is from style file. Unfortunately, you can't refill them. So, something like that. Let's put it here as well. Let's add some nice details. As you know, um, interiors in like Scandinavian design, they used to be very, very uh, mono monochromatic in color. They are very delicate in color 
and you don't want to put like a lot of bright uh, colored markers just some greens in this case just a little bit of it here and there so under the plate so let's imagine that our plates are standing and some kind of Christmas decoration plus we have this Christmas decor happening maybe in the very center of our table like that also we have this beautiful Christmas decor hanging here all right, and then I switch to another color, which will be um, raw umber. I really love umber colors. So I will do some details with it. So maybe here we have some decoration. Maybe it's from plastic, something sustainable. <laughs> so we have here some kind of... Uh, table or something like that console and let's show it then of course i will distribute this color i'm gonna add it to my chairs and please guys let me know if you are an interior design student or an interior designers uh, because i noticed that since I am an interior designer, so my background is interior design, I've worked in different companies and architectural firms, interior design and architecture. So I really love drawing interiors, I love creating interiors. And I noticed that uh, a lot of you are an interior designers. And actually I created my video courses on drawing and sketching for those who want to master this new skill and it would be especially beneficial if you're an interior designer and an interior design student so we are almost done with this sketch maybe i want to add a little bit of dark color here and maybe some um, maybe some diagonal hatching here to show that this is window and then I switch to details. So I'll take my... Oh no, first I would love to add some brownish colors here to these greens to add a little bit more volume to them because now they're looking really flat. So let's add it here and there. Especially we're focusing on the foreground if we want to create this like volume 3D effect if we want that our sketch look um, more realistically. Uh, so then I put this color to these little lights and also we have some candles here and I think I will show these candles maybe in uh, by using my white ink gel pen so, so on this paper I can see that it doesn't work very well so this one this paper in sketchbook it's not a marker paper because I used to work on marker paper something like from Canson this French brand Canson or like from Molotov or from or like Copic paper these are all the brands which have pretty good quality marker paper. But this time uh, I'm working on this regular paper. So some, some things doesn't work here as good as on marker paper, for example. So, and of course with liner we'll focus more on the foreground as well. So to show some nice details this chair and we want to create this effect of uh, aerial perspective so the further uh, the objects away from us the 
more dim they will become, like the more transparent they will become, so I will not work as much uh, details on this background chairs, of course, because they are further away from us and we can say that they are like our background. So I really cover this topic of uh, aerial perspective and shading techniques for beginners in my course base. So I would say that my course base is like my best selling course. And if you want to know more, of course, visit my website, which is olgaart888.com. Right now there are some Christmas sales, some very good special offers happening, like minus 30% off. So it's really the best time of the year, you guys, to get involved in this interior design drawing courses if you always dreamed about it. So, of course, you can check. I would recommend you to check uh, drawings made by my students uh, here on Instagram. You can check the hashtag Sorokina students. So, my surname is Sorokina and like students at the end like us s o r o k i n a and students like this hashtag let me write it to you um sarokina students and you can see what people we uh, who don't have any like, um, background in art what they can achieve after following my courses so I think you'll be really really inspired there are more than there is I believe there are more than 200 um, posts with their drawings so you really want to check them all right so now I'm actually almost done with my sketch so basically some final details some beautiful cups here here and there, just put it here, maybe some decoration here, some stuff. And since this timber floor is on the foreground, I would love to focus a little bit more on it. What else? Maybe we want to add some details to this reindeer. I hope. Uh, on this re and I can see that on this reference photo this is not like real reindeer thankfully but it's like a paper paper made so it's very eco ecologist like sustainable it doesn't harm animals all right and we are finishing with our lights so this will be like the final detail for this live stream and in a minute I will ch be checking I will be checking your questions so if you have any questions please let me know them right now and yes we are done so that was our day seven the final day of my Christmas challenge Olga Art 888 Thank you.